So I know we all have been in situations where we needed to get a last minute product. Whether it was for a birthday party, baby shower, housewarming event, or we simply needed to get the most latest trending product. Well, in situations like this, I'm sure we all turn to Amazon, or at least our parents have. Lately, my dad's been on this fitness craze, and almost every day I come home from school, there's a new Amazon box waiting outside for me. Whether it's for his hiking socks, I know, even I didn't know that was a thing. His running shoes, or his must-have hiking flashlight. I mean, it makes sense. Who's truly willing to drive this extra 10 miles to get it from a small business? Or who's willing to order from a small business for almost $6 and for it to come in seven days when you can just order for it to come overnight from Amazon for almost no shipping fees? Almost 197 million Americans agree with this exact line of thinking. In recent years, e-commerce has been a booming network with almost $800 billion being grossed in only the past 20 years. And COVID-19 is a huge cause of this, with almost $214 billion being grossed in only 2019 through 2020. And Amazon also greatly expedited this, with $514 billion being grossed from only 2022, and this number seems to increase by 10% every year. This has allowed Amazon to turn its production empire into a monopoly, as Amazon sells almost all marketable goods imaginable at extremely low shipping rates, and this allows them to sell close to all market goods, allowing them to dominate our current market shares and crush all competition. And the huge variety of products available on Amazon range from buying an iPhone screen protector to buying an iPhone on the exact same website. And this marketing strategy has given them full control over our current e-commerce networks as Amazon has approximately no actual competition as customers would rather just do business with Amazon than buy from small businesses individually. And this has allowed them to crush competition and get small businesses close to no chance to truly compete against them. So you're probably wondering, why is this so bad? is because monopolies are extremely unfavorable. Monopolies happen when a business crushes the competition and dominates the current market shares in which they operate in. And this is exactly what Amazon is doing. Currently, Amazon has true, no true competition, and this causes most customers to just do business with Amazon. And this gives Amazon full power to drastically increase their prices with extremely low quality. And we're currently witnessing this happen with the current Amazon horror stories, review horror stories. People get simple products, but still are getting rashes, illnesses, bugs. Yet we still order from Amazon. Why is no one stopping them? It's because Amazon is seen as too big to shut down. Small businesses attest close to no chance to truly stop them. And we're watching this currently unfold through the current customer trends. After small businesses get a stable consumer base, Amazon immediately wants to put their patents and their products to sell on their own website. Diapers.com is a key example of this. Diapers.com was a leading baby care brand in the early 2000s that sold baby care bundles and diapers. After they got a loyal consumer base and a stable consumer base, Amazon wanted their patents to sell on their own website. And Diapers.com initially rejected this offer as they wanted to be their own separate business. However, Amazon retaliated by selling baby care bundles and diapers at extremely low discounted rates. And this even brought Amazon into negative profits. But at the end of the day, Diapers.com lost close to all of their customers, as most of them would rather just buy from Amazon for extremely low prices. Soon, Diapers.com got sold to Amazon as it was the only profitable step left. Today, Diapers.com doesn't exist anymore. This is a truly terrifying phenomenon that we're seeing happen through the current customer trends, as Amazon now has the full power to simply buy or just outsell all of their competitors. And this is leading to unethical business strategies being untold internationally. And this gives Amazon the power to do exactly whatever they want to do, as they have no competition to shut them down. And you're probably wondering, are they too far gone to be stopped now? Amazon can be stopped with government antitrust laws, monopoly fares, and more laws to stop Amazon from becoming a monopoly. But what can we do? We need to understand the true magnitude of every purchase we take. We are the middle class consumer base. We are Amazon's largest consumer base. By limiting our purchases, we can limit Amazon's power. By taking a step back before every purchase and thinking, do I truly need this or do I think I need this? Due to sheer manipulation tactics, it will allow us to limit change and limit the power of Amazon. David Hooverman once said, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product. Before you're going to a baby shower, before you get a last minute product, I want you to drive this extra time out to go to a small business. I want you to order from a small business because by growing our small businesses, we can stop Amazon's monopoly. Thank you.